Hi guys, it's me again. I am Teacher Michelle. Our subject for the day is all about science for P2. Our topic for today is all about the reproduction of flowering plants. Last time, we discussed about the four important parts of a flower. First, we have pistils. Another part are the stamens. We also have petals and sepals. There are also three parts of stamen. These are the pollen grains that can be found inside the anther. And the third part of the stamen is filament. There are four types or four parts of pistils. These are the upper part is the stigma. It is the sticky one. Going deeper, we have ovary, ovules, and egg cells. This time, we have the reproduction of flowering plants. The pollen grains move from the anther to the stigma. By how? Through the wind or through the insects, they transfer the pollen grains to the stigma. And then the pollen grains will join with the egg cells inside the ovary. When the egg cell and the pollen grains have unite or fertilized, it will form into a new seed. And then you need to look for the right surrounding to plant the seed. After a few months or weeks, the seed will sprout into a new plant. After a few months, the sprouted plant will grow and make flowers, and then it will continue its cycle. When the egg cell and the pollen grains unite or fertilize, it will have a seed. And then if you plant the seed, it will have sprouts. And then it will continue its cycle. This time, you have to open your book on page 76. Answer the following. You write the parts of a flower, parts of the stamen and pistils. Another one on page 77. Continue the cycle of the flowering plant. First, when a flower is fertilized, it grows into a fruit with blank inside. When you open the eggplant, what can you see inside? Next cycle is, when we plant blank, what do you plant in your surrounding? In the right surroundings, they will sprout blank. After planting the seed, it will have roots and small leaves what do you call that one next cycle is when a seedling grows its roots will take in water then a stalk with leaves will grow its leaves will make food for itself in the last cycle is when the plant is old enough it will grow flowers that help to for what is the flower?
On page 78, all you have to do is to name the parts of the flower. For example, the number 1. What is the name or what part of the flower is the number 1? It is the anther, right? So you need the answer in number 1. In number 2, study the diagram and fill in the blanks. Number blank helps this plant in reproduction. What do you think helps the plant in reproduction? Is it number 1, the leaves? Number 2, fruits? Or number 3, flowers? So what number? For today, thank you for listening.